don't give up on adding fractions with unlike denominators yet, this concept can be made real easy. Let's learn how in this short video. Let's add fractions with unlike denominators. In this case, let's add a one half with a one fourth. As you can see, the one half looks different than the one fourth. However, I can find an equivalent fraction for one half using my fourth. So replacing my one half with one fourth and two fourth, now adding my one half to one fourth gives me one fourth, two fourth, and three fourth as my answer. Let's move into the representational stage of adding a fraction with unlike denominators. The first fraction of one half is given in the visual, as you can see by the red shaded space. Adding in another fraction of one fourth, which have a different denominator, the visual is now using the yellow space. As you can see, the red space and the yellow space look different. Find an equivalent fraction for one half. One half can be rewritten to be as two fourth. Now add in the one fourth, and as you can see, two fourth and one fourth is equal to three fourth, which basically means your one half plus one fourth is equal to three fourth. Let's add another fraction with unlike denominators. In this case, let's add one fourth with three eighth. So let's bring in one eighth, two eighth, and three eighth. As you can see, these two fractions look different. However, I can replace my one fourth with one eighth and two eighth. So the final answer will be five eighth. Let's add the two fractions of one fourth plus three eighth. Shade in one fourth to begin with, and let's bring in the next fraction of three eighth. Three eighth can be shown in the picture using the three blue rectangles. As you can see, once again, the yellow space and the blue space look different. Find an equivalent fraction for one fourth. One fourth in this case can be rewritten to be as two eighth. Two eighth plus three eighth is equal to five eighth, which basically means one fourth plus three eighth is equal to five eighth. 